It is a chilly morning here in Cleveland, Ohio, but it is bright and sunny, so that is perfect. We are here today at Street Machinery, and we're gonna share a lot of new cars for sale and share some of the dream rides that you may be looking for, so check it out in today's episode. in street machinery building number one and we're going to show you some awesome cars we're even going to show you a few cars that are for sale so let's take a look there are a few customer cars in here but we're going to show you a few that are actually for sale this is a, a nova this is an l79 clone they only made according to boris they only made like seven or nine of these uh, real ones but this one is for sale you can contact street machinery here on this car. Uh, and we also have a Trans Am back here in the corner. This one is for sale, so you can reach out to uh, Boris on this one. I think this one is a pretty low miles Trans Am. So super clean, straight. Check out this car. We've seen this one before, this bubble top. So no. Right now, this one is not for sale. Look at the glass. The glass is basically perfect. Inside of this. Four oh nine. So bubble tops coming out everywhere. So here is the man right here. This is Boris. <laughs> So we've actually known Boris. Boris, how long have we actually known each other, you think? It's been, uh, it's probably been close to 20 years, maybe. Okay. I met you so. through uh, Dave Tab and a couple of those other sexy yeah. boys that do you. And how long have you actually been in business, Street Machinery? 1993. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 19, actually 2000 for Street Machinery. First seven years of my career, I was just uh, uh, working on regular cars. I was a mechanic and did that for about seven years and decided that uh, those, the older cars are going to be more fun. And then you guys actually specialize in a lot of stuff. Most people know street machinery, but you specialize in stop, drop, and roll. That yeah, is kind well, of a turning point. That's what we like to do. Uh, we will do anything. Uh, we work on any make and model. A lot of people think that uh, we're Chevy, a Chevy shop, but uh, truth be known, we'll, we'll work on everything. Mopars, Fords, imports, it, it doesn't matter to us. Uh, we've got the capability to work on anything, but we do prefer to work on Chevys because we've got a pretty big uh, part selection and uh, imp, um, a, a good uh, network of resources for parts. So if we need anything, we can usually find any part we need. You know. And I know you sell a lot of cars as well. At any given time, how many cars do you guys actually have for sale? Uh, within your organization? We have about a hundred cars available, but we only sell maybe 35 or 40 at a time. Um, other cars we, we keep around to prep for sale or for building. Uh, customers will buy us, buy the cars and have us build them for them. Okay. Is there a particular website that people should uh, look to? Streetmachinery.com. Okay, streetmachinery.com. Yep. We'll actually put that link in the description we'll put the link down on the video so you can go to their website check out all the cars you can co contact them if you need work done make sure you contact boris street machinery he has a full team of people here doing the work as well so he's not just a one-man show but he's also booked how long are you actually booked out uh, on the big work uh you know ls swaps any kind of restoration work we are about two years right now but uh smaller jobs stop drop and rolls uh repairs small touch-ups you know any small uh classic car collision work we can usually get that in within uh three or four weeks okay
So we're actually checking out this other Trans Am. And Boris, tell us, tell us about this car. I bought this car when I was 17 years old. Uh, it had 28,000 miles on it. Uh, it was the first engine I ever built. Uh, built it in high school. I was in auto shop class. I sold the car when I was 23 years old. It had about 33,000 miles on it. Uh, sold it to a local guy and he was a caretaker for 27 years. Hmm. And uh, he gave me an opportunity to get it back last year. So it, uh, it has a thousand miles more now than it did when I sold it in 1993. Of course, he undid all the dumb stuff I did to it. I had a big cam in it, I had the engine all painted goofy, I got rid of the air conditioning, had long tube headers. Um, he took all that back off, built the motor back to stock specs. Uh, he, he even found an NOS stock 400 camshaft, put that in there. He undid everything that I, I did to mess it up. Back then, I didn't think I was messing it up. So the car is 100% stock now, including it even has the cat. Uh, back in the day, I just had some heat shields welded to the bottom of the collectors. So how many miles are on it now? Right now, it's got 33,000 miles on it. It's got 1,000 miles more than when I sold it in 1993, 28 years later. So we're inside another shop now. This is where they do a lot of the work, the stop, drop, and rolls. They have several projects in here. If you want to stop, drop, and roll, contact Street Machinery. They do it all. But they also specialize in engine swaps, uh, roaster shop chassis, and more. So what do you call this space? Storage, that's <laughs> it. One thing is funny, if, uh, if you're with Boris, you notice how many times his phone dings and how many phone calls he gets within a half an hour span. It is unlimited. It is nonstop. So this is the future home of where all the cars will be. Beautiful space. It's going to be redone. So maybe the next time we're up here, this place will be housing all the street machinery, cars and projects, but just a great space. So this is one area so with cars already starting to get put in but all this will be according to boris this will all be painted the floors will all be cleaned up and done What a fun time at Street Machinery. Thanks again, Boris, for giving us a tour. We saw a lot of great cars. Uh, there was some cars for sale. We saw the new building. We cannot wait to have our next visit and see the new building actually take shape. But thanks, Boris. Great day at Street Machinery. And back to, uh, back home.